where there is light, there must also be dark. So, the thieves of Navarro lived in the shadows of the world. Going in. Get ready. Taking candy from a baby. Ah, a thief! No, not my money! <sighs> you had to make this complicated. Now that I have your undivided attention, let me give you some advice. You've made a killing swindling the people living hand to mouth in this town. Now's your chance to put yourself in their shoes! Maybe you'll think twice about your dirty business practices now that you're the one who's lost all his money, huh? You should thank me, really. That's rich, coming from a common thief. How dare you! <laughs> Touché. But something tells me you'll get over it. Farewell. Try breaking a sweat with an honest day's work for a change. Thieves were known to sweep through towns, stealing ill-gotten goods from the undeserving rich. While their leader, Flamecon, held down the remote desert fortress in the sand dunes. I've returned from the raid, sir. Well done. Oh, you haven't heard. Lord Fla Forgive me. King Flamecon has disbanded the Thieves' Guild and declared Navarre an independent nation under his rule. We're wasting away in this forsaken desert. Mana power is shifting and threatening our place in the world. Our people's resources the waters of the oasis are drying up. We'll lay siege to the kingdom of Laurent in the north and create the Navarre Nation. No. His Majesty has a meeting to attend, so you just sit. Hmm. 
Oh, Hawkeye. When did you get back? I is something wrong? What is Flamecon thinking? He's never been ashamed of our thievery before. How can we give up our entire livelihood, our creed? And for what? <sighs> what is going on? And there's something strange about that, Isabella. I know she saved the Lord's life when he was stranded in the desert. But making her second in command? What's her angle? I'm sure my father has the people's interests at heart, Hawkeye. If the wells we all depend on go dry, we can't live here forever. So... But a king? Flamecon hates monarchies. So now we're going to bleed the citizens of our new nation dry to fill the king's pockets just like our enemies do? How will we be any different from them? Stop insulting my father. Oh, what? Did you want to play the part of the pretty little princess, Jessica? Stop! I, there's something bothering me. By now I'm sure you've heard about the invasion of Laurent. 
Have you noticed anything strange about my father lately? That's exactly what I thought. We two have grown up together here in the fortress, so I knew you must have noticed it as well. I knew it. He hasn't truly been himself since he went missing in the dunes last month. Fortunately, that newcomer Isabella found him before he... But I swear nothing has been the same since. If my hunch is correct, Isabella may be at the root of the problem. But no more. I will expose her for the evildoer she is. Get me a break, Eagle. Don't rush on ahead. Something's got me on edge. I better go after him. Surround them. I'll go to the other side. Understood. Do pass on my message. Hold, fiend! We have you now. Whom have you snuck into the fortress? And what have you done to my father? We'll continue when pests are taken care of. I'll leave them to you. <laughs> oh! You children will find out there are things better left unseen in the world. But no matter. I will have you forget my little secret. Just like Flame Cup. Stop manipulating my father! I'll throw you out of this fortress myself! <laughs> what an innocent babe. It hurts! What's wrong? You have to... Run! Hawkeye! Must... Eliminate... Hawkeye... Must... Be destroyed! No! This isn't you, Eagle! Fight it! Oh, oh dear! He can't hear you now! What will you do? Attack your friend or perish on his blade. Alive, I see. Oh. Allow me to fix that. <laughs> hey, 
个，一个武当。Uh, you, you did this to Eagle. You fell. <laughs> I'm done playing, child. <gasps> Someone, come quick! The man's a murderer. What's the problem? No. Not Eagle. How could you? Don't move. No, it wasn't me. I would never. Let me out. Murder is no laughing matter. Your execution date is being decided. I suggest you reflect on your crimes while you wait. <laughs> oh, best be quiet, dear. If you tell anyone, your friend Jessica's life is forfeit. What have you done to her? Oh. I just gave her a cursed little present, if you will. If you step out of line, you may not like the consequences. <laughs> Let me out! Versus. Is someone there? Anyone? Jessica. My brother. Eagle. He. They're saying you did it. But that can't be. No one was closer to my brother than you. You couldn't have. So tell me, who killed my brother? I talk, and, and her life, life is forfeit. forfeit. Please tell me, who was it? <laughs> Hawkeye, why won't you say anything? No. Couldn't be. But you and Eagle, <gasps> Jessica. I believe Mew. I know Mew were framed. Come on. We need to get away from here as soon as possible. Ah, uh, 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 quick, through this hole. Isabella will pay, but I can't stick around the fall any longer. And Mew mentioned, I think it's the legendary Choker of Death. If the stories are true, once Mew put it on, Mew can never take it off. And if Isabella dies, Jessica will die with her. But the Priest of Light in Holy City Wendell might have some leads. Mew should leave Navarro and find the Priest. <laughs> I'll take care of things here. What? Okay, I trust you, Niccolo. 
Take care of Jessica while I'm gone. Hey, you take care of me yourself. Don't worry, I'll look after Jessica. Prisoner's loose! Stop him! I swear on my life that I won't let anything happen to Jessica. I have to leave now, but... I will be back to avenge your death, dearest friend. And I will save your sister. Jessica, you have to stay safe until I return. Please be safe. Hawkeye, pained by the loss of his dear friend, set off for Wendell to find a way to lift Jessica's curse.
resist, and we may spare you. Aeolian forces have taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. A Beastman invasion. Well, no one said this was gonna be easy. Picking a lock is child's play for a thief like me, but not with guards swarming the area. Break. What kind of weapon shop doesn't sell weapons? If this is a joke, I ain't laughing. Come on, these beast guys are itching for a fight! Eh, not sure if I can beat them all on my own, even if I had more weapons. Ow, oh, a headache. Ferolia look like humans during the day, but at night, they transform into animals. Don't leave the house after dark, you hear? Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, night is actually best. Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. Perhaps someone can keep me company at the tavern until nightfall. Uh, avoid these guards. On second thought, maybe it'd be better to rest at the end just in case.
Fantastic. The magic barrier is in the way. These lockpicks are useless then. Yes, I should look elsewhere. Light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight, too. Light? light. Now I'm curious. It might be something valuable. I should check it out.
welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Looks useful. <laughs> Come again. You alive? Uh, uh, I... Uh, I'm alright. Oh. Who... Who 
are you? I'm from Navarre, but I saw the light from the Astoria Inn. You can call me Hawkeye. I see. Uh, I have no other option. So I suppose you'll do. Hold on. What? Oh, never mind. I'll tell you later. Please. I need you to take me to the Priest of Light and Wendell. I can't fly any further on my own. That's actually where I'm headed anyway. But there's a barrier around the cavern. We're stuck here until further notice, I'm afraid. I can get us through the barrier. But we need to hurry. Something has happened to the Sanctuary of Mana. The Sanctuary of Mana? Wait. What on earth? That came from Astoria. Sorry, I, I gotta go back. Oh, we need to get going. Let me rest inside you for a bit. You won't see me, but don't worry, I'm still here. Whoa! Wait, what? Don't delay. We must see to Astoria. Uh, she's talking in my head. That is the weirdest feeling. Hurry! Okay, okay, I'm on it. So, why are you heading to Wendell? There's a small matter of a cursed choker that I need to figure out how to remove. Haven't had an easy time yourself. everyone this looks like the work of beastmen what cowards there is no time to waste we have to get to the priest of light as soon as possible oh, Wendell is in danger
think so.
You saved me! <laughs> I'm Charlotte. I'm a famous beauty from Wendell. Young beauties shouldn't wander through these monster dens alone. Got it. to look into something for the temple. But I got a really, really bad feeling about it. I didn't want anything to happen to Heath. So I followed him in secret and didn't tell Grandpa when I left the temple that night. By a horrible twist of fate, Creepy looking man took Heath away right when I finally found him again! <laughs> and then I couldn't even get back to Wendell because of the barrier until you opened the path through the castle. Got a little lost on the way and fell down. <laughs> if you hadn't been there, it would have been good night, Charlotte. That was close. <sighs> well, I'm headed toward Wendell to see the Priest of Light anyway. You can follow along for now, I guess. Come on. You want to see Grandpa? Why didn't you say so? You didn't know it, but you helped your chances. I'm actually the granddaughter of the Priest of White. Come on, Swopoke. I'll take you to my Grandpa. Now, it's off to Wendell. Oh, great. Window is straight ahead. Come along, recruits. Follow me. Whew. I see you're a girl who knows what she wants. If only you were ten years older. I wouldn't mind being one of your recruits. Don't worry. I got this. I need to stick around after a win. Too bad. Too bad. I need to stick around after a win.
finally made it to Wendell. Hopefully his eminence knows how to lift curses. Thank you so much for taking me here. Hurry, we need to request an audience with his eminence. Welcome. Lots of wares to browse. Oh, good choice. Good work. Oh, good choice. I have an eye for quality. Where's the brow? Oh, good choice. mad at me. Accept the Goddess of Manor's blessings. Your Eminence, what do you know about the Choker of Death? How can I stop the curse? I need to save Jessica. Choker of Death? But that's a forbidden and ancient magic. How did this come to be? Here's the story. I'm certain that Isabella is not what she seems. Hawkeye, my apologies. But I do not know how to lift a curse so ancient and evil. Only the goddess of mana can do that. Only the mana goddess? That can't be. What am I supposed to do now? Wait! I have something to say! Your Eminence, please listen. I have come from the Sanctuary of Mana to tell you that the Mana Tree is withering. Mana power grows weaker by the day. Withering? But without the Mana Tree, the seals on the Mana Stones will break. The Benevidons will be released into the world. The uh, what? Uh, come again? You're acting like this doesn't affect you. You've been chosen by fairy. This means that you alone can retrieve the Sword of Mana from the Sanctuary. I've been what now? 
She didn't mention that. Hey, Fairy, what's this about? I'm sorry. With the mana in the world so depleted, a fairy can't leave the sanctuary for long without a host. If I hadn't found you, he wouldn't have made it. Yeah, okay. You're welcome and all that, but you're not welcome anymore. Go haunt the old man over there instead, huh? Would that I were able to bear your burden. However, once a fairy finds a host, they are bound to them for their whole life. Only death can part them. Wait one second. I never agreed to this. I don't need a sort of manner or whatever. You want revenge on the person who killed your friend Eagle, and to lift the curse on Jessica, right? The Sword of Mana could break any curse, and it can destroy Isabella. Hey, keep your fairy fingers out of my head. What is the Sword of Mana anyway? The Sword of Mana is the embodiment of the ancient power of mana, the guiding force of spirits. It is an alternate form of the Golden Wand used to create the world itself. The one who holds the Mana Sword gains awesome power. The sword lies in the roots of the Mana Tree, waiting. Before the mana tree withers completely, you must reclaim the sword and awaken the goddess of mana once more. She alone can bring peace to the realm and grant your wish. I could destroy Isabella for what she did to Eagle. <laughs> I'll do anything to save Jessica. So, where can I find this sanctuary of mana exactly? Sorry, but with mana so depleted, I don't have enough power to open the portal to the sanctuary, not by myself. Throughout the world are eight points of mana energy, mana stones, sealing away the fearsome Benevidons. If you activate the mana stones, the portal connecting our world to the sanctuary of mana should appear. Through that portal is the sanctuary. However, you should know that the energy inside the eight mana stones was sealed on purpose as the mana goddess began her slumber. So what should I do? In ages past, there once was an ancient spell used to control the energy from the mana stones and bend it to the user's will. However, countries refused to allow each other any control of the spell and use of the mana stones. The war that followed caused unspeakable damage. It was nearly as destructive as the sealed Benevidons. The survivors cursed the magic to avoid future tragedy and forbade anyone from using it. Now the life of any person who uses the spell will be forfeit. There is no longer anyone alive who knows how to work this cursed spell. Guess that's it then. There may be one way borrow the powers of the elemental spirits that reside near the mana stones instead, I can combine their powers with what remains of mine to open the portal for everyone. Splendid! This is a relief. If you wish to find a mana stone, I've heard many say that the light stone is in Cascade Cavern, guarded by the elemental Lumina. It is the cavern you pass through in order to reach here. Take Fairy. With what remains of her power, she can help you find Lumina in the cavern. 
See if you may borrow his light powers. Welcome.
career to you. Leave it to me, Wookie! Say so myself. That's the whole fair was talking about, right? How are we supposed to get over there? I forgot you can't fly. I think I can use the residual mana power in the waterfall to get you over there. Hmm. Let's give it a try. Too bad. 
on your plight while you were fighting. Telepathy's great, huh? Just like Fairy, we elementals need mana to live. I'll help however I can to make sure we save the mana of the world. Lumina, where is the light stone? It's straight up from here, deep within the old ruins. But you can't exactly get there from here. Oh, no, 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 it's safe, though. For now, at least. It's so unstable. It seems like the Benevadon could be unsealed at any minute. We gotta get the rest of the elementals on board and open the portal to the sanctuary! Huh? Look at that! A shortcut! Huh? 
for taking down the cavern barrier. Saved us some trouble. <laughs> now, nothing's stopping us from invading Wendell. This is a present to show our appreciation. No! <laughs> Let's get going. What do I do? 